Hello there, and today's a good day as we have some new Fallout content to dive into. And as always, if you don't want spoilers, this is PTS footage, so there's your spoiler warning. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the really awesome changes coming with the Once in a Blue Moon update. So let's get into it. And for the first awesome change, I'm going with the chef's kiss of the changes. It's simple, and it's been a long time in the making, but we finally have it, and it's simply this. So... New Legendary, where does it go? It goes to the left side of the screen. It doesn't take up your entire screen in the middle. Simple change, but a really, really awesome one. And since we picked up the weapon, we might as well take a look at the change here as well. And now we can see our AP cost over here, which is really, really nice, as well as it actually shows you which is your first, second, and third star, which is, you know, just more refinement on how they're wording the actual info on the legendary items in the game. Similar story with your armor. You can see the first, second, and third star, but it also displays your mod now. So I have the jetpack here, and then it lists that uh, along with the legendary info there, as well as we have the unyielding piece here, and it lets you know where you're currently sitting at with that. So we're currently at plus three, but if we weren't as bloodied, then, you know, we would be plus two, plus one, or there would be nothing there. There's also that change on weapons as well. So where's a bloodied weapon here? If we go here, see? Currently 82% increase on the damage, so it's showing you exactly how much you're getting, which I think is quite a nice little change there. There's also a couple of more quality of life setting changes over in the game settings. Uh, we got the grenade mine targeting mode, so you can choose all, only your own or none. So if you don't want to target grenades or mines with vats accidentally, then there's the option there. Uh, show muzzle flash effects, you can turn on or off now, and show non-explosive weapon impact effects. Also has a toggle switch now. So those are all really nice to see and just nice quality of life little additions there. Also have advanced mod descriptions. So show detailed numerical breakdown of stat changes when choosing weapon and armor mods. So we'll take a look at that at the bench. And as you can see, we're modding our fixer here. And when you want to change the receiver, for example, we get a whole bunch more information on the side there, how it's affecting the AP cost, the fire rates, the range, all of that when we are choosing the different receivers here. And that's also the same for if we're going for the stocks or any of that. It actually shows you how much of the percentages you're getting when it comes to your recoil, your melee damage, or, you know, whatever the case may be. So that's a really, really nice change and just you know, helps you understand a bit more of what those mods are actually doing. So just a couple of changes there, but quality of life changes that make some of the biggest differences in gameplay. But let me know in the comments what's your favorite change. Are there any others you'd love to see them implement? But hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, then hey, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stick around for more Fallout content. I'll have more PTS stuff coming your way real soon. Channel members, you're awesome. But for now, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.